we're going to dive straight in looking at the S&P 500 and the QQQ, so the NASDAQ indexes. Uh, we're on the monthly chart right now, and you can see the monthly close has been pretty bullish. The charts are starting to look more and more bullish again. You can see our indicator, especially on the left side, never actually flipped to red. So it's always kind of been in a bullish trend. Wow. But Ever since yeah, 2010. 2010 yeah. <laughs> the market <laughs> crash, which happened then. But it's never, you know, like on the monthly, like it's uh, it's always like the price. We got a few prints, but like Max said, the band hasn't flipped to change to match the the print like if you see we talked about this on the weekly where yeah. we got a, a, a fake out basically we that helped us avoid a bear trap yeah uh, because we did get a bear and then it flipped back to bull and uh but you see the band never changed color yeah we talked about this in a previous video it's definitely harder so, it's harder to call them bear traps on the monthly timeline just because of how like long of a timeline that is but it's uh, right. it's definitely still looking really bullish here. So we have, you know, a bullish kind of like the uh, strength band is looking really bullish. And then the end of the month for last month, you can see that big long candle there at the end of the chart. Very bullish. Bullish engulfing. Can, yeah. Bullish, bullish engulfing close. So really looking bullish kind of all around. We're looking for the stock market. Yeah. To, so we're basically seeing what we had called out uh, almost a month ago at this point uh, when we were looking at the cup and handle kind of pattern. Since uh, yeah, let me see if I can have that. Yes, yeah, both of I these see. guys were kind of trading. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. It's the cup and handle is and the, is a is a uh, technical analysis kind of pattern that generally leads to a price breakout at the end of that handle, which is the channel following the little cup that you see there. Uh, and then yeah. you you can see Sid's already drawn out the line that goes from the base of the bottom of that cup to where the brim of that cup would be. That a uh, line would indicate how large of a breakout in price we're looking for. And so you can see, yeah. uh, especially on the QQQ there on the right, you can see he's lined up that price target. And you can see we're looking for a basically a breakout up to about 490, a little bit under 500 maybe on the QQQ. Yeah. Uh, and then so. And, and it might take some time, you know, like I yeah. think this is, it's going to happen over the course of maybe a year, maybe two. Who knows? But like, but the but it's most likely like uh, our guess is is most probably it'll get there. Yeah. But the time basically, frame it's hard to say because it just doesn't go up in a straight line. Yeah. So you basically, know? what it's trying to tell us is like it, it's trying to hit that mark before it hits lower marks below the handle kind of uh, mm. range. So it's basically most likely going to continue climbing and making you know that high point uh be its next target before you know potentially cooling off moving down or starting a new pattern but that right, right. that trend is still very much in play uh we're kind of keeping our eye on it and you know the breakout and the bullish close at the end of the month here really kind of play into this uh this trend really well where it, you know obviously the the close looks bullish we look like we're probably going to continue pushing up and with our expectation from the weekly chart, we are expecting to push up. So yeah, I think I think we probably. My guess is that we start seeing new highs in the stock market the coming year. Yeah, so I, I think I'm it's. Like uh, I know a lot of people are still kind of sidelined. They're still wondering whether it's the like bull, bear, recession, no recession. Yeah, I yeah. know I see a lot of talk talks around, but we've just been following our indicator and we've just been like playing it i switched it back to the weekly but then here you can see how it called the top and then pretty much called the bottom yeah. and then we've been sort of net long bias long ever since like we saw this bull signal on the weekly yeah. chart it's been going pretty well so, it's nice yeah, yeah. Uh, it's and been... then yeah so the the stock market is looking more and more bullish even though there may be a little bit of a like you know in the coming days not like months or so a little bit of a retrace back to kind of like uh, cool off yeah. slightly uh, like we saw a little bit today the like equity markets were get, you know you can see that little candle that's been drawn there especially on the yeah. on the QQQ it's starting to close a little bit below where the previous month candle closed that's I honestly a little expected I think but you can see even, yeah it, oh, go on. it it I was gonna say usually like after the month closes mm -hmm. like price tends to swing 
in the opposite dire direction just yeah. to like wick down it almost feels and, like you know, there's like, like a battle for that price close and then once the price closes in then it's like oh and like yeah they cool down a little bit yeah and, and like, also the bulls it, lose it their be. lose their steam a little bit at the end <laughs> of their close it. right and uh, but also i think like it serves an important function where it, like you get that sr flip you know so it kind of like retests it cools off in in this case since it like closed bullish it's going to cool off it's going to retest support here yeah. around here uh, that's for the spy and then qqq around here around like the 380 region at least yeah. so you'll see price sort of like wicking down there and then if you like you know if you change it to like the lower time frame like say weekly yeah see all it's it's already trying to like wick yeah. it's it's trying to like retest it to sr flip and then bounce and then continue higher exactly and that's yeah. what it's trying to do